Setting up your sales taxes requires a three-step process. Usually you only have to do it one time. It's pretty easy. We're going to go to lists. The first thing that we're going to do is tell the computer what our taxing authorities are. Now here in our district we have a state tax, so I'm going to set this to be the oops, C O L O R A Colorado Department of Revenue. And I'm also going to create a Lakewood Department of Revenue because we have to pay the city tax separate to the state, county, and local taxes. I don't actually need a separate county Department of Revenue or local Department of Revenue. I'll go ahead and save those changes. The next step is to define the actual tax rates. So we come into the details. And for the state tax, I'm going to modify this. And we're just going to change that from state to Colorado. We actually write the check to the Colorado Department of Revenue. And the tax rate in this area is 2.9%. So this is already in percent. You don't have to put in 0.029. It's just 2.9%. We'll save that change. The next thing we're going to do is put in our city tax, modify this, and we're going to call this Lakewood sales tax. It is actually paid to Lakewood, and in our case it is 3%. Save this. Now here we do have a county tax, so I'm going to modify this, and I'm going to say that this is our county we're in is Jefferson and we actually pay the Jefferson County tax to the Colorado Department of Revenue and then they break it out. And the Jefferson County tax in our area is 1%. So I'll save that change. And finally a local tax. And you can create multiple different taxes. Uh, for example you might have a transit tax or a sporting tax or you know lots of different things. I'm going to modify the local tax, and this one I'm going to call RTD, which is our rapid transit um, transportation tax, and it is also paid to the Colorado Department of Revenue, and it is half a percent. So I'm going to save those changes, and then save that area. Now finally, what we're going to do is set up the different kinds of taxes that we might charge on a transaction. So we're going to go to tax types. And we're going to say that a local sale, that is if somebody takes the item and walks out the door with it, they are charged local tax. And for local tax, they will be paying Colorado, Jefferson, Lakewood, and RTD tax. All of these options are ticked. For out-of-state sales, they're going to pay none of these options. For an in-state sale, where somebody buys the piece and asks us to ship it to them within the state of Colorado, but outside the Lakewood area, they will pay Colorado tax, but they will not pay the Jefferson, Lakewood, and RTD tax. Once we're done with these, oh, there is tax-free. Unknown is usually not used. It's put in there so that um, you can just handle things like uh, what happens if it's being shipped overseas and check with your accountant on that. Um, wholesale is different than tax-free. Tax-free is to like a church or a um, tax-free institution. Wholesale is to another dealer. Okay, I'm going to save those changes. And that's it for setting up sales taxes. To just quickly check the tax, I'm going to go to a new sale. I'm going to sell, just with a quick sale, I'm going to enter a piece called junk. Actually, let's call it tax uh, test. And I'm going to put in $100. Notice that down below, the taxes that are computed for a local sale you could change the tax rate if you choose to. The taxes computed for local sale are 7.4%. That's 2.9 for Colorado, 3 for Lakewood, 1 for Jefferson, and 0.5 for RTD. And there you go. Your taxes are set up and tested.